For nearly 600 years, this mysterious piece of text has eluded the understanding of scientists, historians, and cryptographers alike. The book, dubbed The Voynich Manuscript, is approximately 240 pages, containing images of strange foliage, naked women, and astrological symbols. Accompanying these strange illustrations is text that is seemingly written in a foreign language. Speculation and wonder has surrounded the book's existence since it was first discovered. To this day, no one has deciphered the text hidden within its pages. However, a recent scientific study claims to have identified a portion of the book's secrets. But before we begin, please be sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks, and enjoy. Before we get into the new discovery, I think it's important to go over the history surrounding this strange piece of text. The manuscript was named after Wilfred Voynich who purchased it in 1912. Carbon dating provides a 95% probability rating that the skins used to house the text came from animals that died in the early 1400s. However, its earliest known possessor that we have identified was an associate of Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II. Rudolf II lived from 1550 to 1612. That leaves over a century of ownership information missing, and with it, a great deal of context. The Voynich manuscript measures 22 and a half by 16 centimeters and is thought to derive from the southern Germanic or northern Italian cultural area. Additionally, based on the illustrations, the book is divided into six sections. According to those studying the manuscript, those sections are botany, astronomy and astrology, biology, cosmology, pharmaceuticals, and a section of continuous text surrounded by decorative markings. Due to the placement of the markings and the length of these entries, this section is thought to pertain to recipes. The largest section of the manuscript is the botanical section. It is here in which you can find over 100 detailed and colorful drawings of plants and herbs. However, many of the images within this section depict unknown species of plants. Similar to the botanical section, the other portions of the manuscript contain strange images one may have trouble understanding. In mid-April of 2024, Keegan Brewer, a European medieval researcher at Macquarie University, published a paper outlining a new theory. He posits that a portion of the manuscript is about sex. Keegan's first piece of evidence for this stems from the illustrations of naked women holding objects in the vicinity of their genitalia. After identifying this, he investigated the culture of gynecology and sexology during this time period. While scouring the history books, Keegan came across a man by the name of Johannes Hartlieb, a Bavarian physician who lived around the time the Voynich manuscript was created. According to Keegan, Hartlieb wrote about plants, magic, women, astronomy, and baths. He also advocated for the use of secret letters, such as a cipher. This is apparent when reviewing his work surrounding sexology, often referred to as women's secrets during the medieval period. Hartley worried that his writings could facilitate extramarital sex and that God would condemn him if it were to happen. With that being his line of thinking, it's easy to understand why he would opt to make use of a secret language. After this discovery, Keegan broadened the scope of his research. Knowing that scholars and researchers from this time period purposely censored themselves when creating gynecology or sexology texts, he decided to see what other documents from a similar time and place looked like. As he suspected, many of the documents contained examples of self-censoring. Keegan discovered a 21-line cipher from late medieval northern Italy that obscured a recipe with gynecology uses, including abortion. Additionally, he came across a Bavarian manuscript that included recipes for magic to coerce women. It's within this manuscript that he noticed multiple pages were removed. According to the manuscript's author, it was done, quote, not without reason. Confident he was on the right track, Keegan turned his focus to the rosettes, the manuscript's largest and most elaborate illustration. It's this illustration that Keegan uses to support his claim that a portion of the Voynich manuscript represents a late medieval understanding of sex and conception. During the late medieval period, the uterus was reportedly believed to have seven chambers, and the vagina, two openings, one internal, one external. Keegan subscribes to the idea that the nine large circles of the rosettes represent these. The central circle represents the outer opening, and the top left circle represents the inner opening. As further evidence of this, Keegan cites Abu Bakr al-Razi, a Persian physician who influenced late medieval European medicine. Al-Razi wrote that five small veins exist in the vagina of a virgin, 
The five small veins can be seen running from the top left circle towards the center. Additionally, it was thought that the uterus had two horns or spikes which were identified on the top right and bottom right circles. And lastly, the two suns that appear in the far corners of the image are thought to reflect Aristotle's belief that the sun provided natural heat to an embryo during early development in the womb. While this is just a theory, I personally think it is one of the more sound and comprehensible ones out there. After all, many people are of the opinion that the Voynich manuscript was either left behind by time-traveling humans or forgotten by extraterrestrials. Perhaps, as Keegan hopes, his research will shed new light on the Voynich manuscript and inspire others to conduct their own investigations. Until then, we can only speculate as to who or what wrote the manuscript, and what it is they may be trying to convey.